we had a great event last night. Um, it's a, a, a special opportunity for our whole organization to get together, players, staff, uh, you know, special fans included, uh, for a terrific uh, cause. Um, to be able to enjoy that night together um, and still be able to come in today and work and, and prepare for uh, tomorrow. We know what to expect. Uh, we got um, handled in the paint the last time we played them. They're a physical team. Uh, you know, they'll be coming at us uh, in every every way possible in the paint. Um, so we have to be ready for that. Coach, do you feel like the level of focus that you guys have now is where you used to be adding? We'll find out. Uh, you know, we're making great strides offensively. Well, the reason I'm asking you There's is whether you're down by 20 or whether it's going to take a hard foul at you, you guys seem to be focused and not letting it like that. Yeah, in terms of that, we've come a long way. Uh, that That's not an issue. Um, and we've made great strides offensively. Uh, we're improving the trust, the execution, uh, much more precision and thought uh, at the end of uh, close games. Uh, but we're better than we were uh, defensively the other night. Uh, our guys understand that. That's not taking anything away from Sacramento. They played a terrific game. Uh, but uh, we have to continue to try to hold ourselves to a high standard. What's the biggest? How hard is it, how hard is it to maintain a streak like that? Well, you, you can't talk about it. you got to talk about what, we've, what we always do, and that's the process of getting better. Uh, it's not about... Uh, winning the next game so we can maintain the streak and that's a dangerous uh, thought process uh, either you're getting better and making steps uh, to improve each day like we have the last three weeks in terms of our defense uh, or you're taking a step back which we did uh, against Sacramento Do you feel that defensively you've gotten better against two bigs and what's the biggest challenge that these two bigs pose tomorrow? Well they just pound you I mean the size number one uh, and number two the skill uh, they're not just uh, coming at you with you know, hard physicality, there's a, a thought process behind it. They're both very skilled, both very good passers. Uh, they've developed a nice chemistry playing off each other um, you know, the last few years, uh, and they're unique. You don't typically play uh, uh, teams that um, you know, can really take it at you with two bigs um, on, on any given possession. Do you have any concern with, with a lot of your players talking about the game? With a, with, you think of it with what? Pre-game dunk ritual. I'm not even going to feed into that. That's the theater of the absurd. I mean, really, uh, guys warming up and, and dunking. Can we come up with a better storyline than that? Everyone likes dunk. So now guys can't have uh, three shooting contests. Guys that are shooters. Uh, okay. So we don't want them to warm up. Uh, uh, I like seeing our guys in a lather. Uh, I don't like participating in the theater of the absurd. We love it. It's both a video. It's beautiful. Oh, well, whatever. We don't mind it. As long as I see a, a lather and they're ready to go, uh, that's the whole point. Uh, I don't like walking out to the game and you see a bunch of zombies and, and they're not ready to play. Back to the game, what, what is the biggest challenge for tomorrow besides their big? Uh, that's uh, a, a big part of it. Now, Conley has really improved. Uh, he's an elite point guard now. Um, he's really grown as a playmaker and uh, an attacker. Uh, he's an improved shooter. Uh, he's hurt us. Uh, you know, the last few times we've played against Memphis, he's been able to uh, break the defense down and get into the paint. After the last game, the guys mentioned that because of all the focus on, on the bigs, that three-point shooter, I like the kind of there and got a little bit of resistance to that. You have to kind of... Yeah, it was, it was everything in the last game. We, we played a, a, a very poor basketball game, uh, and they took it to us. Um, I mean, really, every, every aspect of it. If Conley was able to get in the paint, they were able to knock down threes, and they physically beat us up. Where, where is Chris Anderson right now in terms of conditioning? You talk about you it's getting better. A little, bit a little bit, but I'm not concerned. Uh, I still think it'll be another month. You know, uh, he doesn't look uh, like he's going to faint uh, after a four-minute stint so I think that's getting better the game condition and he's spending a, a, a lot of time behind the scenes so he's getting more comfortable and, and uh, he's an instinctual player so the less he has to think and the more he knows our system the more comfortable he gets the more active you're going to see him become and I think that was uh, a residual of a lot of the work he comes in 45 minutes before every practice before every shoot around and he's reviewing uh, all the details of our offense and defense um, 
so he can react and not have to think uh, where he's supposed to be. It's a little bit different, the system, than, than what he's used to.